Blessings to all of you beautiful beings. It's Elena and I'm Enchanted Debbie Be here on my channel. Hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're new, consider liking, subscribing, becoming part of my little YouTube family. And if you've been here before, hello and welcome back to each and every one of you amazing, fantastic, and beautiful souls right across the screen. Lots of love, lots of warm hugs, and hopefully you and yours are safe. On today's video, this is the continuation of the episode of the Witch's Moon Triple Unboxing. Ooh, this one's heavy. So this is the October box. I have a little note over there because it was unpackaged. This is the October box for the Witch's Moon. We have all three tiers of them here and this is one of my favorite witchy base subscription boxes. These are monthly boxes and we have, like I said, three different tiers. We have the Witch's Moon, Witch's Bounty, and Witch's Roots. Witch's Roots is their lowest or least expensive tier, and it is based around a or an herb of the month. Then we have Witch's Moon, which is their medium tier, and it's kind of based around a little bit of everything. There's some jewelry, there's some herbs, there's some altar pieces, that sort of thing, kind of like to grow your arsenal of pagan goodies. And then we have the Witch's Bounty, which is focused around a sacred jewelry piece or a magical jewelry piece, which has always been phenomenal, unique, beautiful, mainly in silver with sacred stones in it, with magical stones in it. I, I love, I, I love all of these boxes. Starting off with the witch's roots. Very, very excited. Now, all of these boxes contain a, contain a magical oil, a beeswax rolled candle, um, artwork, their fantastic artwork, and incense. So this one, we have information on the witch's broom, the besom, and we have blue sage. Ooh. So we have artwork for that. Their artwork is probably one of my favorite artworks ever. It's just, I don't know, so my aesthetic, it's, oh, hold on, there we go. So my aesthetic, it's like vintage-y, old-fashioned-y type of looking, like witchy type of looking. It inspires me to keep working on my book of shadows and just love it. All right, we have some squiggles and underneath, we have, ooh, pretty rock. I'll put the squiggle back in there. Let's see which one it is. This, I believe, is most likely a quartz piece. We have a good chunk of it, or a good kind of palm stone. It's a little bit of an awkward size for a palm stone, but could be one nonetheless. We'll find out exactly what crystal it is once we get to the description page. Then we have, ooh. Ah, we have a necklace with a besom charm on it. Sorry, I save all the little storage things that it comes with and reuse them for my Etsy shop or pen pals and that type of thing. So we have broom, cleansing home, journey, spirit, contact, protection, purity, and intuition. And we have a couple sigils and runes regarding it. And this pretty, pretty locket. Oh, not, not locket, pendant. Pretty pendant. Will you cooperate with me? Why must you be stubborn? There we go. So we have that. Now you don't necessarily need to wear these lockets. You can also take it and wrap it around your besom, giving it an extra charm or something like that. Keep it on an altar or keep it as a symbol invoking the besom. Then we have their magical oil. This time is called Psychic Besom. Interesting. Let's see what it smells like. We have some herbs and stuff floating around in it. Mmm. Like minty and 
eucalyptus -y maybe? It smells really good. It smells very fresh, refreshing smell. Here is the bottle. And with a couple of herbs swimming around in there. Continuing on, we have a single rune tile, I assume. Oh no, this one's broken. Oh, well, that's. I have a couple of these runes already from a different box, so I'm gonna hold it together so that you can see what rune it was. But it is in two pieces. That's okay, it happens. This box is from October, so it was laying around for a little while. We also have a bundle of blue sage. Nice and big bundle of it. Smells very good. The smell of it kind of reminds me a little bit of rosemary. It's like a sage and rosemary mix. So we have a smoke cleansing bundle. We also have some incense. This is called copal. Ooh. It's a little faint and woodsy and earthy. Um, pretty much basic incense sticks or stinky sticks as I like to call them and last but not least in this box we have their beeswax rolled candle and it's in like a white clearish color I don't know if they started wrapping them a little differently or maybe I just build up a knack for it but I used to struggle with the little papers around it so we have a nice candle um, these burn magnificently. I absolutely love using them in my practice. Another thing you can do is kind of hold it between your hands. Hold it between your hands, warming up the wax a little bit and relaxing it a little bit so that you can peel it and come on, come on. Ooh, this one's stuck good. Maybe, maybe I held it on too, too much. So you can peel it and unroll it a little bit and you can add herbs oils or an intention paper or something like that on the inside to make the candle a little bit more magical all right i'm going to tuck all these things these goodies away into the box so i don't lose them so that the puppy doesn't get at it although she's pretty good she doesn't really get things off the floor unless she unless i let her put the pretty artwork away and let's read about the goodies that we received. Yes, I also saved those. I'm, I save as much as I can. So we have the Witch's Besom is the theme, Blue Sage. It's an extremely mindful herb promoting relaxation, relieving stress, and calming anxious thoughts and emotions. While using Blue Sage as a clearing smoke, the energies of comfort and guardianship can quickly be felt wonderful. Then we have the Blue Sage Herbal Grimoire artwork that has a ton of different information on it about it. About it, we have the Broom Pendant with Chain, uh, the Broom Book of Shadows artwork, Tumbled Clear Quartz Crystal. Yes, I was right. We have a White Light Cleansing Mini Spell Candle, the Protected Home Bind Rune. Mine's broken, does it mean my home's not protected? <laughs> Psychic Besom Magical Anointing Oil. It has Clary Sage, Mugwort, Rosemary, Peppermint, as well as Lemurian Quartz. Um, Copal Ritual Incense Sticks. And that is it for that box. Wonderful as usual. Scooch it out of the way. On to this other one. It is heavy. It is quite heavy. So let's see why it is heavy. Maybe I shouldn't show. Maybe I should just end the video on it. <laughs> so we have that. Starting off. Something smells weird in there. It's like a herby, perfumey type of smell. 
I mean, it kind of like evaporated now a little bit, but it was like a whack you in the face type of smell. We have their ooh, Medusa artwork and a whispering in the night incantation, as well as their information pamphlet and an oracle card. So we have romance. Romance, it is a sacred power. Let it come to me this hour. Here is the card. It's because I'm showing you guys some love. Mwah. Then we have the incantation. Incantation, however to pronounce it. Again, with their beautiful vintage -y type of artwork. And then we have the Medusa artwork. These are definitely one of the most original boxes I have opened. They seem to really take care in curating things and really creating things of their own. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I love the way that they portrayed her. Just keeping her eyes closed so that I don't turn to stone. Um, what else do we have? We have their Samhain bath salt. Oh yeah, this was in October. Why can't, whoops. Mmm, this smells like sweet grass or hay or something like that. With a tiny bit of something clove related. I'm not gonna try to tip this over onto my desk. That would suck. So we have this thing. Wonderful. Always wonderful. I enjoy taking bath salt. Oops. I enjoy taking baths with salts and um, doing relaxing baths. Or if you don't want to take a bath, you can use it as a foot soak, which also works amazing and feels great. Or you can use it as like a body scrub, but be very, very gentle with it. And in order for it to not be as coarse or as like intense, you can add a little bit of, like you can scoop on some onto your hand and add a little bit of soap to it. That way it'll disperse the salt a little bit and it won't be as gravelly. We have a tall, beautiful black beeswax candle. Then stinky sticks. What are they? These want to run away. The veil. We have the veil, sneaky sticks, and I guess it just wanted to leave and transfer over into the veil. I don't know what this is. They never really disclose what's in their incense. It's not exactly what like was powerful in the box, but it's a bit part of it. It has a little bit of like a cologne perfume type of smell. I can't put my finger on like what herb or something it is. I'm not sure. Fortunately, like I said, they don't really disclose what it's made out of. Then we have a yellow dock. Epazote birth. Then we have Epazote. Epazote? Epazote. Sometimes their font is difficult to read. And bird's foot. I almost read that as bird's food. And I was like, bird food? It doesn't look like bird food. So <laughs> we have bird's foot. That's a new one. I haven't heard of that one. If anybody gets these boxes, do you struggle with the font as well? I mean, they're really cool. I enjoy the font of it and I usually um, can get it, but sometimes it just stumps me. All right. There's still a strong smell coming from it. I don't know. I, come on. Not this. Ooh, Medusa oil. Of course, there's some herbs inside as well. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, what does this remind me of? It smells a little sweet, a little berry-like almost. It smells like a flavored kid's cough syrup. Like medicinal a little bit. Interesting. I think I think that just like unlocked some memory from my childhood <laughs> while I was smelling it. We also have. Well, should I open this first or should I open that first? Ooh, that's the heavy thing. Mm -hmm. What do we have in here? Start with the small one. We'd be best for last. This is ooh, very well packed little tumbled crystal. Possibly an agate of some sort. Oh, struggling a little bit with it. Trying not to drop it. I've dropped I've dropped so many crystals like past my table while doing certain unboxings entertaining so this is the heavy chunky thing oh oh I like it I like it already oh it is hefty we have a Medusa wall hanging are you survivable or survivable pack things for later Ooh. It's detailed and like really aged, but it seems to be a little crooked. Like her face seems to be a little crooked, which maybe potentially this is handmade, but I think it was most likely cast dead type thing. Um, I'm not the maker. Maybe I'll read about it, see if it is handmade or something, but it does seem a little crooked. But, you know, that gives it character. I like the little sneaky guys. Cool. Um, I wish they would have, I don't know, aged it a little less to have the gold be more um, prominent. But maybe I can use like a little buffer and buff it out, do it myself. We shall see. We shall see. All right, that is it for this box. And now let's see what we have here. So this is called Protectors of the Veil. Ooh, exclusive brass medusa plaque. This one of a kind brass medusa plaque was designed by the Witch's Moon and exclusively created for this collection. So it doesn't say how it was created, that it was just designed. So since it's brass, I would assume that it was cast. But again, I'm not a metalsmith, so I'm not really sure. Um, and then it talks about her his her tragic history and that sort of thing. Then we have the Medusa Book of Shadows artwork, hand rolled whispers in the night spell candle, then whispers in the night Book of Shadows artwork. Lovely additions to my collection. Medusa magical anointing oil with lavender, patchouli, dandelion. Yang Yang Anise Vanilla and a Lemurian Quartz. Hmm. Special mixtures of our protectress magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Ooh, flower agate stone. Nice. I like that. I I I did say it was an agate, right? So maybe I would consider that as a win. Yellow Dock Root. It assists in clearing emotional and spiritual blockages. Episode Herb. Clears out any negative and stagnant energies and helps digest hardships of life. Fenugreek Seed. Bird's Foot. I know Fenugreek Seed, but I didn't know Bird's Foot. foot. This looks a little different. Not sure. 
It can be used for grounding and protection during strenuous rituals that may include astral travel, travel and shamanic journey. Then we have the Veil Ritual Incense Sticks, Sawain Celebratory Sacred Salts, Sacred Salts, Sawain Celebratory Sacred Salts, say that quickly 10 times, Personalized Oracle Card Reading and Extra Parchment Paper for Use intention setting or other witchy things awesome wonderful box i loved all the goodies do wish this was just a little less aged but i do like it it is very nice i'm gonna see if i'll be able to get my husband to like use the thingy to buff it out see if it'll work because it doesn't exactly seem to be wait it has like a pointy thing in here We shall see what happens with that. It is like heavy. Like this would be maybe, this is heavier than my cat. <laughs> and my cat is is an older cat and she's, she's getting a little chunky. She's adorable though. All right, tuck, tucking all of this right, scooching it aside onto the last box. Let's see what we have in this one here. Ta-da! More of their artwork. I swear, I would literally just keep getting these boxes for their artwork. It is Spirit of the Owl. Ooh. Or should I say, ooh. I'll stop, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful as usual. Don't mind me, I'm almost falling out of my chair for some reason. We have their information pamphlet, ritual oil, keeper of wisdom. I like that. Okay, I feel like this is going to be a very frequently used herb of mine since I love to study it and keep growing my knowledge and obtaining wisdom. Oh, it smells really good sweet and like green that smells really really good here's the bottle and this one you can see the herbs in it clear i'm not a big fan when oils come in a clear herb bottle um so if you do receive like an oil in a bottle that's not blocking out the sun make sure you keep it in a dark area because the sun it's uv rays can interact with these and it can change the chemical composition of these herbs and sometimes it would make them go bad so keep um these types of bottles with oils in a darker spot it'll preserve them longer same thing with your cooking oils too i'm gonna save that for last Ooh. go away we also have this pretty shiny rock crystal. Oh, I can't think of the name of it. Fine. Two out of three for me. <laughs> can't. I, I think I might know what this one is, but I, I can't. The, the name's not coming to me. So we have this one. Continuing on to their candle. We have a black candle. I think a brown candle would have went better with this. It will kind of like match that, but I'm, any color works for me. Again, same thing with the beeswax candle. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Following up with the stinky sticks called Messenger. Ooh, again, all wonderful things to get. I love the theme of this one. Oi, hold on. It's a little strong. Can't exactly put my finger on what it is either. I don't know. 
I have no idea. It's like very herbally and a little perfumey, like, like you could kind of taste the perfume in the back of your tongue. So it's a strong, strong smelling incense. We have a cord that comes with the pendant in case you don't have something to put it on there. I literally have a collection of these here since I don't use them for my pendants, but I do use them for other crafts. Let's see what kind of beautiful, oh, beautiful, beautiful piece we have. It is a carved owl, maybe out of a jasper of some sort. Oh, it is stunning. Sorry, you're gonna have to wait while I admire it for a little while. This is beautiful. I think it's gonna be one of my favorite ones. This one and the Athena pendant that I received. I don't remember which month, which box, which month that was in. I'm gonna tuck this away, keep it safe. That is absolutely beautiful. All right, on to the wisdom of this parchment. Carved fossil palm wood root owl pendant. Fossil palm wood slash root. Do they mean like a petrified wood type of thing? Because if this is a petrified wood, then that's even freaking better. Then it's even better because petrified foot, pe petrified foot, petrified wood is one of my favorite crystals to work with. From being represented as the omen of death to the keeper of mysteries, the owl has long been recognized as an important symbol in magical practice. This very unique root is the result of great pressure that has fossilized the Indonesian palm over millions of years. It is said that just a small piece of the fossilized palm root is considered to have timeless wisdom and knowledge captured within. Ooh, so it is a petrified wood, but it's a special petrified wood. Petrified wood root. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, Keeper of Wisdom Magical Anointing Oil with Vanilla, Ground Sage, Blue Lotus, and Mugwort. Alongside a Lemurian Mini Quartz. I used up a couple of their oils and they have like the, the little quartz thingy, so I have like a tiny pouch of Lemurian Quartzes. Then we have Messenger Ritual Incense Sticks, Magic and Mystery Spell Candle, Hematite, Hematite stone. Stone is also considered to be one of the more powerful grounding and manifestation tools during energy work. And then we have Spirit of the Owl Goddess Book of Shadows artwork. A delightful trio of these magical witchy boxes. I love them. I continuously love their boxes. Never cease to disappoint. Which box was your favorite? And which item of these boxes was your favorite? Um, obviously, it's like working with my favorite crystal, but more intense. I, I am very excited to work with this, meditate with this, and study with this. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love the symbols of it. I, I love the animal that it's representing. Spot on. All right, so here are these boxes. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, the whole shebang. We have tons of magical fun here. And if you made it all the way to the end, comment down an owl emoji in, in the comment section below. I think there's an owl emoji. If there's no owl emoji, 
drop some kind of bird or something like that because I definitely know there's a bird. Let's hope there's an owl. All right, so there's that. I shall see you on the next video. Love you all. Bye.